Selling a home can be a stressful process. And what's even more stressful is when you finally get your home ready, you karate chop all those pillows. You, you know how many minutes a day I spend getting the throw pillows on and off the bed? How many? Four minutes in the morning, four minutes at night. That's eight minutes of my life. I figured it out, it's 56 minutes a week. It's nearly two days of my life a year I spend putting pillows on and off a stupid bed. So you get all your candles, okay? You get pretty flowers spread throughout the house. And then you put your home on the market and days and days go by with no showings and no buyers. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you the top three reasons why why your home isn't selling in Newport Beach and how you could actually fix it. My name is Tommy Jordan. I'm your Newport Beach realtor. Reason number one, your home is overpriced. Now, I know a lot of sellers, you don't want to hear that, but a lot of times it's simply the truth, okay? And you need someone who's going to tell you the truth and not just a yes person because you're trying to sell your home, okay? And pricing it well from the get-go will ensure you get the maximum amount of exposure and money for your home. So what I like to say is the market determines the price. If your home is underpriced, Okay, you're gonna have a line out your door and around the block people will think you're giving away like carnitas tacos or something I don't know why it's like eight o'clock in the morning, but I'm a little hungry right now Okay, they'll think like what what's going on? Everyone in Newport Beach and Orange County will be at your house making offers And then what will happen is you'll get multiple offers and then you'll get more than what you even possibly could have gotten, you know, if you listed too high to begin with, okay? What tends to happen if homes are overpriced from the start, people will simply think you're not serious and they'll just go look at the next listing. So here's what we need to do. Step one is create a market analysis, a CMA, but not all CMAs are created equally, okay? Because you might hear a lot of realtors say, oh, CMA, CMA, but here's what you need to be looking for in your CMA. The first thing we need to do in a good CMA, and by the way, this is important, okay? Okay, to know you know, if your realtor is doing a good job or not. The first thing is looking at homes within a half mile radius, sometimes even smaller, we need to stick to the same subdivision, okay? So we can't be comparing homes in Balboa Peninsula Point to say homes in West Newport, say homes in Dover Shores, say homes in Corona Del Mar. I mean, we need to stick to that same local area because prices vary widely. For example, if you have a home that's Bayfront versus Oceanfront, you know, a home that's more inland, a home on the golf course in Big Canyon, you know, all these things affect the price. So that's number one. Second, we need to look at the comps. We need to look at active, active under contract, pending, okay? We need to look at sold. We need to look at expired listings, you know, all of these things make a difference. And what we specifically wanna focus on is the closed homes. Cause the big mistake I see with a lot of sellers are, they say, Tommy, well, you're selling, you're telling me, you're selling me, selling and telling, you're telling me to price my home 200,000 less than say John who lives around the block. And I say, well, let's look at John's home, okay? John's been on the market for 200 days. Now, the average days on market for a home to sell in your area right now is 40 days, okay? So John's been on the market like three times, four times longer than the average days it should take to sell because John has a price that he's never gonna get. It's a pie in the sky number. That's why looking at homes that actually have closed in the last three to six months, it tells us you know, where the market is, what it's been doing, and how to accurately price your home going forward. Something else I'd like to mention, if you're online and you see Zillow, Realtor.com, Redfin, they'll give you a cute little estimate for your home, okay? They'll give you a estimate of what they say your home could sell for. But in reality, that price a lot of times is very wrong. And here's why, okay? These home shopping websites, they're using the MLS, they're using local data, and they're you know comparing your home with like property characteristics, same bed, bath, count, all that but they can't see inside your home. So they're giving you a very general price per square foot. That's why it might be in the ballpark a little bit, but a lot of times it's way off because for example, they don't know the wood the woodwork you've done in your home, you know, and they don't know the crown molding in the bedrooms, you know. They don't know, you know, all the beadboard in the house. My mom, she goes crazy with woodwork, okay? They can't see all that. You know, love you mom by the way if you're watching. They can't see the Calcutta marble you have on the the center island in your kitchen, you know, the Viking appliances, the Miele espresso machine, you know, 
all these things really affect price and Zillow and these sites, they can't see that because they can't get inside your home. So that's why it's important having a local agent who understands the nuances of the market and who could see the inside of your home to give you a better accurate price. Lastly, you need to know important key figures. Like for example, how many average days on market for your neighborhood for a home to sell? You need to know how many days it should take because then you could gauge really where you're at in the process, okay? If you're average days on market, for example, in Newport or median, because median's better than average, because the average might be some homes that are way overpriced and that have sat on the market for 300 days, or there's different price segments in the market, homes that are four to five million, homes that are 50 million in Newport Beach, okay? A $50 million home is gonna take a lot longer to find that right buyer than a home that's five million. So there's lots of nuances even within looking at these stats. But for example, in your local neighborhood, if the median days on market is 70, well, that will help you know, hey, we've been on the market for 30 days. Maybe it's not a price reduction we need to get some offers. Maybe it's just a matter of time for the market till the right buyer walks in the door. This will give you a clear sense of being in control in a plan knowing these things. For example, you know, in Newport, how many homes have price decreases? This is a market average, but I'm showing you this so you could sort of see these these key terms, you know, 43% um, homes are having price decreases. So what's inventory like 116 homes, you know, a big one is what's the list price to sale price? Is it 95% with you know, most homes getting a 5% price cut, okay, when they actually sell? Or is it 103% where most homes are going 3% over asking, you know? Are you in a seller's market? Are you in a buyer's market? A good agent's gonna sit you down and really paint the picture for you, ensuring that you list at a good price and you make that cheddar to be on to the next beautiful home you're looking to buy. The second reason I see, believe it or not, is using low quality photography for your house. Buyers are much more likely to be interested in your your house if they see high quality photos of it, okay? If your photos are blurry, dark, or just poorly composed, buyers, they're simply gonna click away because 90% of buyers plus everyone starts their search on the internet, online. So first impressions are everything. And let me give you an example. If you're gonna go on a blind date and you're going to Javier's or Mastro's you know, Ocean Club, okay, Newport Coast, and you show up and that person is dressed in pajamas, okay? Even if it's like Lululemon, okay, jog or something or like yoga pants and you're all dressed up, you're probably not going to go on a date again with that individual because first impressions are everything, okay? So if people just see poorly photos, poor, poorly lit, badly composed, you know, you might have an incredible home, but people don't get a good first impression of it. That's why Make sure your realtor hires a great photographer from the get-go and also have a video of the home. You know, buyers, they buy with emotions. In Newport Beach, we're selling a coastal lifestyle, okay? There's lots of emotion involved in that. And you need people to sit there, you know, and, and on the internet, watching a video, showing the house, showing the views, showing is it by, you know, uh, Fashion Island or the Balboa Fun Zone or, you know, whatever. Get them immersed in it so then they're just giving, sending you bank statements and sending you offers because that's what we want, right? The last thing I would recommend is get a 3D virtual tour. Now, a lot of people in Newport, you know, we have many second homes, a vacation market. Many of our buyers are from out of area. So having a 3D virtual tour allows allows buyers to sit in their home and walk through the house, okay? And then it's more controlled than just a video. They could every they could really see every nook and cranny, you know. Just these things, they're so simple, but ensures that you're gonna sell your home a lot quicker, get top dollar, get more exposure, and we're just trying to like stack the deck in your favor because a lot of other sellers, really, they're not doing these things. Reason number three, your house is being poorly marketed, okay? Just putting up a sign in the yard, you know, that's not enough to sell your home. You know, this isn't the 1950s anymore. We need to actively market your home to potential buyers. This is more than just putting your home on the MLS and it gets sent to realtor.com, Trulia and all the home shopping websites. We need to be telling your neighbors, sending postcards, 
but even more advanced tactics for the digital age we live in, you need someone who understands advertising, you know, digital advertising and marketing, okay? Someone who could take your home and put it, for example, on social media, you know, Instagram, Facebook, someone who knows how to do banner ab ads on Google, you know, on all these different home shopping websites or the Wall Street Journal, you know, having someone who knows how to get your home out locally is important, but also, you know, nationwide and internationally for homes needing that kind of exposure. The next thing I'd recommend is someone who understands social media or has a team, someone to do it. 51% of buyers, they're starting their search on YouTube, okay? Believe it or not, it's crazy. That's how I'm helping so many buyers and sellers from YouTube in Newport Beach, okay? Because they're starting on the internet and a lot of agents simply, they don't understand it. They don't know how it all works. They're sticking to putting their face on, you know, bus, stops and you know in the shopping carts at bristol farms you know realtor which nothing's wrong with that i'm not hating but i'm just saying we live in a different day and age and we need to stay up to date and go where the attention's at if buyers are on youtube you need someone who understands search engine optimization okay keywords metadata all this nerdy stuff i won't get into but all that stuff i'm talking about is is basically being used to target that buyer, what they're searching for, and then get your home in front of that individual, okay? I, for example, I have a lot of experience with social media, doing stuff on my gospel channel, you know, reaching millions with my content. And you need someone who could take your house and not only get it on YouTube, but also make a short form video to put on TikTok, to put on Instagram. You know, that's a 30 second minute video and understand how to make it engaging, how to make people click and make it viral. You know, it's, it's weird to say, but people are buying homes through social media and having someone who gets this is going to ensure, you know, your home doesn't just get a yard sign in it. Now there's many other reasons why your home might not be selling. For example, did you properly stage it or is it just a big empty house? You know, are you not willing to negotiate? Does your home lack curb appeal? You know, does your home need repairs? Is your home overly personalized? Is your home too cluttered? But the reasons I gave you today, they're really the top three reasons I see over and over. You know, if I gave you a list of all the reasons why your home might not be selling, you know, it could be a 10 hour video, but I wanted to make it shorter for time. So if you want more a personal home seller consultation one-on-one -on -one with me, my contact information is below. I'm helping people every single day sell homes and buy homes in Newport Beach. So please contact me. And if you wanna learn more about Newport Beach, Hit this playlist right there and don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos on Newport Beach, California.